Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighbor, Noob. Of course, I'm friendly and we're back with another Disney Dream Life Valley or Noob Life Valley. Now, I haven't been playing often enough, in my opinion, not as often now as, uh, as I would like, but it's good to be back. It's good to see, good to see a new world, my new place, and fix things up and bring it back to ship shape. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. Let's jump right into it. Let's go. Uh, I am so excited about this one. It's an age as old as time, guys, and it's truer than you think. Both of them are scared, so unprepared. It's beauty. And the mildly attractive guy who then turns into a vicious, handsome, chesty beast. And obviously, you know, Belle is into furries, so voila! <laughs> no, we're about to get into ages all this time and get into Beauty and the Beast, which is actually one of the newer ones. Um, it's it's it's, it's not the newest, but it's one of the newer ones. That's new newest right now, but I know there's more coming. There'll be more coming in December fifth. There is a whole bunch coming out, including Jafar, and I'm so excited, so excited. By the time this comes out, it will be February. No, I'm like two months in advance. But honestly, with how much content I pump out, kind of. Have to. Sorry. Sorry. But look how beautiful this is. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's violent. What's the book? Oh. It is all this time. Truer than you think. Both of us are scared. Mildly unprepared. Oh, okay. There's a piece of paper here. Oh, oh my God. It went on the other side. That's so annoying. Meh. And as you can see, I have my very, uh, my very kingly outfit. Perfect for posing in. I like taking photos, uh, especially because I put them in my thumbnails. I just think it's so cool. <gasps> I have to take a photo of that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I wish I could go down there. I hope I end up going down there. Oh, follow the flying book. How about I collect this first? Oh, I can sit down in the chair. My booty. I sat my booty down. Go away. <laughs> oh, okay. We're following a book. Whee. <gasps> we do get to go out that way. Yay. We get to go down into the rose bushes and oh, it's Belle. Oh my God. That's so cool. Flying books. Oh, I love flying books. I do, I do. Well, what's going on here? Why are the books flying everywhere? Uh, I, I, I don't know you. Uh, do I know you? Uh, let's focus on the books. I'm here to help. Uh, thank you. I'm afraid this storm of flying books is quite difficult. That's a good read on the situation. Oh, I enjoy your wordplay too. Well, I'd love to discuss it with you later, but for now, um, uh, will you help me catch them? Once you collect all the flying books, I can explain everything. Okay, let's go collect the books. Oh, what, 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 what? No. Come back! Come back! Come back, books! Come back! <laughs> Come back! No! I got it, got it, got it, got it. Yep, final one. Ooh. No! He's tricky! There we go! I got all... What about those ones up there? <laughs> there we go, we got five flag books. That was very fun. <laughs> you caught some books and look at the rest of them falling. They did fall, that was a lot of sounds. Thank you for helping me stop the bookstorm. What started it in the first place? I'm not sure. The Beast and I had a disagreement. He asked me not to go into the West Wing again, but there's something there I just, I wanted to see. I'd probably do the same thing. You must be curious like me. I guess so. What happened next? Well, he found me there and got very angry. We argued and then I laughed and then came to find him something and read. But as soon as I opened my book, all the books started flying around the shelves in the storm. I don't think this part is enchantment on the castle. It must be the dream light magic. The storm of books was reflecting your feelings. Dream light magic? I've never heard of that, but the beast was one of the most upset. He locked himself in the West Wing and won't open the door for anyone. You could ask him nicely. I've tried that. He won't answer me. Then I'll try talking to him. I don't think he'll open you, let you into his room. Is there any other way to get in the West Wing? Well, when you first arrived at the castle, Lumia did say something about the secret passage in the library. I've never found it, but you could search the library and see if you can. I'm going to put the books back on the shelves. Respect the books. You had me a secret passage. I'm so excited. I'm glad. Please come find me if you locate the secret passage in the library. You must want to check the rolling ladders in the corners. I felt a cold draft there the other day. Oh, another uh, plank. I don't know 
know why we need a plank, but a plank. Rolling ladder. Oh, another plank. Oh, what the hell? Why are there pieces of stuff around here? What happened to the... Oh, there's another one there. What's going on here? Where's the rolling thingamajiggy? They said there was a rolling thingamajiggy. Isn't this the library? Let's find a way to get to the, into the secret. Huh. Oh, this thing. Oh, I see. So I had to collect all the pieces. Those are the wheels and these are the planks. Ah, mysterious. Once you fix it, it works again. <laughs> what did it was fix it? Are you serious? Though I do like that this was added because that was really kind of cool. I didn't expect it. I honestly didn't expect it. Like the, I like when there's more aspects to the, the little world. What does it say? Yeah, a page of curse if it looks like something right. A young woman tried in vain to free the man in the stone. Also, what's this? Oh, okay. That's not very Beauty and the Beast of it, but okay. Oh, and Flatborn sneakers. Again, not very Beauty and the Beast. I was hoping for like tuxedos and crown heel stuff, but guess not. Looks like, you know, some sort of, maybe someone can help you make sense of it. Ah, we gotta talk to Belle. Oops. <laughs> Forgot she was even there. You found the secret passage. That's wonderful. Behind a bookshelf. Dream come true. It's intriguing, isn't it? Like something out of a mystery. Let's go see the beast. I think I ought to stay here. He's still upset with me. Oh, you're a stranger. He won't like a stranger in his room either. Uh, even the staff really go in there. I could dress like one of them. That way he might think I'm one of the staff. It is rather dark there. I suppose that might work. Hmm. I use this so quite often. My father needs his things his in inventions with a few special items. I'm sure I can make a costume for you. Let's see. We need candles. Um, uh, candles, a candle holder, and a golden curtain. If you search the, ca the castle, I know you'll find what you need for the disguise. Okay, so I did see candle here. Um, I found this over here. Now now we need to find the candle holder. Oh, and more candles. Okay, so where's a candle holder? Maybe if I check the rest of the uh, place? Gives me a reason to check around. Oh, that's right, I can go in here. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I love it down here. Ooh, ooh, mystery. I like a secret door. This does feel a lot bigger and a lot more detailed than the other ones that have been used. I will say that. Like uh, all the other realms, this feels a lot bigger. Especially because like compared to Remy, Remy the rat is like, like small little kitchen. This is a lot bigger. <laughs> Roses. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I'm going to eat you. Um, oh, what's that? Uh, I imagine that's something we're gonna have to deal with later. Uh, I don't know, just some more parchment. I guess the rest of the stuff has to be inside. All right, we still need one more candle. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna dress as Lumiere, I imagine. I hope we get to keep the Lumiere costume. That'd be so cool. I like Lumiere. Is Lumiere? Uh -huh. I hope we get Lumiere and um, Cobble. What is it, Cogsworth? Cogsworth as characters as well. And Mrs. Potts and Chip. You found everything for your disguise. Let's see what we can do. A stitch here, a button there, and a costume. It's ready. Here's the candlestick disguise to take secret past and check out the beast. Um, oh, that looks cool. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. It's a gold, first of all, a gold suit. That's awesome. But look at this candle holder helmet. And every time I turn, it like puts itself out. That is amazing. Amazing. This is my new favorite outfit. Just like, wow, wow. Oh, hello? <gasps> um, I'm I'm just, uh, it's a, uh, oh, oh, Miracheski. Okay. Who's there? That's a really bad voice, but oh well. Just one of your star. It's me. It is me, Lumiere. Lumiere? You sound different. It's so dark here. Yeah? Give me some light to see by. It would ruin your gloomy atmosphere. I told you to light your candles. But, uh, your highness, I'm at my wick's end. I told you never to wait. You're not. Not Lumiere. Who are you? How did you get in here? Well, I, uh... Answer me! Why are you dressed like a candlestick? <laughs> I am a candlestick. <laughs> Do you think me a fool? Do you think I'm a candlestick? <laughs> no, I should throw you out of my tower for trespassing. Wait, wait, I'm a friend of Belle's. She asked me to check on you, but it seems like you're a little busy fixated on an old portrait. Belle is sorry and she wa uh, was very worried about you. She she said that? Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that <laughs> means I feel bad for overreacting. <laughs> and that means I'm right. Are you feeling the shame? <laughs> what would you you know about it. I know that sharing what you're ashamed of can make it feel less scary. She's just 
asked. <gasps> she came here after I asked her not to, and she was staring at it. The old portrait? Yes, looking at that face with so much... Ah, <sighs> how can I even compete with myself? This, this is a misunderstanding. Just go, get out! Aw, he's jealous. He thinks Belle only wants the, the, the pretty version of the beast, which I just think is average looking, but whatever. You saw the beast? Is he alright? I think he's sad. He, th he thinks he'll never measure up to the prince in that old portrait you were staring at. Oh no, I was just trying to see if there was something here, there that would help me understand who he was so I could understand who he is now. He didn't... S it was a simple mistake. A mistake that needs I need to fix, but I'm not sure what to do. What if you, we need to, uh, uh, made him a new painting? What an interesting idea, but I don't paint, do you? Not even a little. Hmm, is there someone who could have commissioned to create one? If only we could snap our fingers and make a new painting. Hey, great idea. Maybe I can use some of my dreamlight magic to help. I'll head to the valley and consult with Merlin. What's a Merlin? <laughs> Ah, uh, probably a, probably very tired at this point. People ask lots of questions all day. He's a little magical encyclopedia with a great hat. Merlin's always trying to help people in the valley with his magic and experiments. Experiments? Mm, Merlin sounds like he's my father with his inventions. I'd love to meet him someday. Maybe someday you will. For now, I'll go talk to Merlin about the magic and to make a new painting. That'd be wonderful. I look forward to hearing about your discovery. Oh, that's so sweet. That's such a cute little interaction. As I said, this entire area is twice the size of any of the others. I get this amazing outfit, which I, I don't care if you think I look in like an idiot. I think I look great. And also the fact there's like an area that has a secret door and just like this convoluted. And it's a cute little story too. I think they put an extra bit of love into this, uh, into this characters. I, I wonder if we get them both at the same time or we're going to have to convince Belle or convince Beast to come. Probably convince Beast, let's be honest. The girls seem more willing. I'm sure if Minnie wasn't stuck in the other side, she'd be more willing too. Oh, hi, Merlin. You're, you're stuck. Merlin, I visited Belle and Beast in their realm and I need some help. It's a long story, but do you know any enchantments that can make a painting? That's a conflict that only arts can solve. A creative quandary. That certainly is fascinating. There are tools and charms that might suit your purpose. Uh, they're also allowed to create an enchanted canvas. One that will paint itself. Have you used this spell? Why, certainly. Once on occasion, I feel the need to rearrange and redecorate my study to reinvigorate in my imagination with new stimuli. So, I have used such canvases and purchased treasures moments and, might I say, shake things up! Now let's see. If I recall correctly, you'll need soft wooden fibers. Then you can gather white daisies, garnets, and dream shards. Oh, and there's one more thing, vital ingredient. One you won't be able to find in the valley. Magic paintbrushes. No, no, nothing like that. As you well know, friendly, the very best art comes from the heart. That's where our finest spell component comes in. You you must have Belle tell the canvas a story. Ask her to share a happy memory of the time she had with the beast to activate the magic. When you she does, she'll have a new masterpiece bloom right in front of her eyes. Oh, that's so sweet. This is like a little romantic story. I love a good romantic story. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I was about to say, I'm not much of a romantic, which is kind of a lie because, you know, I, I me and my partner had date night recently and I spent a lot of money and uh, I hope that I made him happy taking him to a place that was really nice nice and fancy. We got to talk and drink and just enjoy ourselves. It was nice. I enjoy those moments. You know, the little special moments. It doesn't have to be like presents or anything like that. You don't have to, if you have to put that much effort in all the time, then maybe they're in the relationship for the wrong reasons. I'm not saying that's your relationship, but I often find that's the case. Like me and my partner could lie on the couch with some popcorn and watch a uh, movie and that would be good for us. I'd be happy. Or you can go to the movies itself. Or you can go out to a fancy dinner or go to a museum, something like that. It doesn't really matter. You know, just happiness. Happiness, happiness, happiness. Oh, Belle. Hi, Belle. Here you are. You came back. Yes, yes, I did. To the Enchanted Castle? Of course! <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I come back to Enchanted Castle? I mean, this place is amazing. I wish I could live here. In fact, I've actually got the, uh, my own Enchanted Castle that I put my storage in. I mean, I've got that because it looks so pretty. The castle's full of surprises. Secret passages, dancing silverware, flying books. And soon, one brand new painting for the beast. And just needs your help to finish it. Where should I put it? I know the perfect place. Follow me. Ah, uh, the piano. Can we play the piano? Hey, Belle, can we play the piano, please? I want some music. I think it'd be really nice if we played some music. Oh, where did the beast go? The beast must have left. Let's get the painting ready before he comes back. Merlin said that you should tell uh, me a ha about a happy memory to share, uh, the for you two to share. And that will complete the painting? He really is a wizard. Right, let's hurry up and finish before the beast cut finds us. I don't want him to think that you snuck in here again until he sees the painting. You're right. Well, early on my time here, I tried to run 
away. I felt very attacked by wolves. What happened next? He saved me and then tended to my wounds. Uh, and then I tended to his wounds and he got for a fight from the wolves. After that, we started to understand each other. We dined together, went for walks. Once he even fed the birds in the courtyard. I remember seeing that small creatures in his hand and thinking he really was gentle in his own way. Belle, it's working. Look. <gasps> Aww. Aww. Oh, this is so sweet. It's so cute. What? What is this? Do you like it? Belle and I made it uh, with a happy memory she has of you two together. The day in the courtyard with the birds. I remember. I. It's perfect. Thank you both. Friendly. That was better than I ever could hope. I'm so glad he likes the painting. We make a great team. Yes, I've enjoyed having a little adventure with you. You know, there's plenty more adventure and magic in this discovery in the valley. You and the beast should come visit. I'd love to, but I'm not sure the beast would feel comfortable going to a new place and being around all the new people. There's got to be same way to, uh, some way to bring him uh, around to the idea. I'll see if I can work my magic. Thank you, friend. And thank you for helping us understand each other better. It means so much to me. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> a prince in disguise. Okay. Talk to the beast. You. you and Belle have shown me kindness, even though I lost my temper. I wanted to give you a gift, something to show I'm trying to change. Friendly, will you will you help me? I thought you'd never ask. Thank you, I'm grateful. I suppose you've got to know Belle. What do you think she would look like? How about flowers? What? That's too simple. She could find them for herself in the garden of the greenhouse. Perhaps I could... No, no, I shouldn't. Sounds like you have an idea. Let's hear it. I have an enchanted mirror that could show us the perfect gift for Belle. But I need to help you get it. I was using the mirror too often to watch it outside the world, so I locked it away and broke the key into three pieces. On my command, Lumia hid the pieces in key. Then uh, he decided to make me a treasure hunt to find the pieces with riddles. I'm not very good at riddles. <laughs> treasure hunt. Riddles. I'm in. You find this exciting. That's helpful. Please search the castle with me using the clues and find the pieces of key. When you have them all, come back to me and we'll open the chest to use the mirror. Um, good luck. That is so stupid. Hidden in a hot place. Hidden where silence roars. Hidden in a thorny place. Hot. Okay. Well, first of all, let's go get the thorny one because I know where the thorny one is. Whee! Thorny one is right here. Right. Somewhere that's hot. Oh, another piece of that paper. Uh, hidden in a hot place. So, fireplace. And hidden in a place where silence roars. It'd be the grand hall where piano is, I imagine. That's where I put it. That's why the piano is here. Oh, no. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. I would have thought for sure it'd be there. Where silence roars. Oh, the library. Silence doesn't you have to be quiet in the library. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. Okay, so where's somewhere hot? Oh, wait, no. Oh, there we go. Got one piece. Place where silence roars. I can't go into the other, any of the other areas. Aha! Silence roars. The stone statue's silent, but it roars. There we go. And I broke one of your stone statues. I'm very sorry. You got all the pieces. And I put them back together. Good. Would you Take the key and get the enchanted mirror out of the chest. I, if I try, it might break something. All right, let's see what she wants. If it's something as simple as flowers, I'll laugh. We go. Bring the enchanted mirror to the beast. Let's saw his fingers. <laughs> Here you go. One enchanted mirror. Thank you. I'll show. I'll show you how it works. Oh, we're looking together. Oh. Okay. Let's review what we saw in the mirror. Belle's surrounded by loose papers with all the writing all over it. The pages everywhere. I think Belle's writing a story. Hmm. Maybe we could create something to collect the her story together. We're on the right track. Please don't. <laughs> It was a great joke. Ugh, what we need is a gift. I must have an idea, some idea. What about a journal with some quill and some ink? A nice book kit. A way she can write all her stories in one place. That would be perfect, but I wouldn't know where to find those in the castle. That's what I'm here for. I, I'm glad you've come. I'll head to the valley and see what supplies we need. The valley? What's the valley? It's where I'm from. Belle really wants to visit with you. She, she said that? Yes. Just think about it, okay? I'll go make Belle a book kit. Aw, this is so cute. I'm really liking this one. Ask a villager for for a feather. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, you have to ask Scrooge or Donald. I'm guessing we're asking Donald. There's no way in hell Scrooge is going to give it to us for free. Now, where is Donald Duck? Ah, he's at food. Of course he's food. He's hungry. He's a hungry ducky. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to get them both to come, but I, 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 I imagine they come at the same time because Belle seems interested, but the beast needs convincing. So I think they're going to come at the same time once you get them both. Uh, oh, there you are. He's got a little Halloween costume on. Donald, can I have one of your feathers? What? You want one of my personal feathers? Uh, it's, it's for a good cause. 
It's for a gift to help a friend. Doesn't matter. I can't help right now. I've got big problems. I was fishing with Goofy and he got a big bite on his line and jumped to help him and bring it and knocked my fat lucky fishing rod into the pond. Use Goofy's rod to find the fi Uh, I did ca Goofy catch fish. Sounds like an unlucky fishing rod to me. Trust me, it's lucky. Before the forgetting, Daisy gave it to me for my birthday. And I was always getting my ca catch of the day. Where is Daisy, by the way? Are we going to add Daisy? You could, uh, maybe you could find, uh, you could, you could get a new one. I know. One's the most preposterous idea I've ever heard. I'm gonna find my lucky fishing rod back and you'll see. What about a feather? I need one. No time. <laughs> oh God. Guess I'll have to ask someone else for a feather. Oh, you have to ask. Ugh. All right. That is a that is an old lady's outfit. I'm I'm not gonna lie. That is an old lady's outfit. I don't know if that's supposed to be for the. Uh, is that supposed to be for? Yeah, it's supposed to be for. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Looks like mother of the bride and the bride's this. This is the bride. That's the mother of the bride. <laughs> yes, I bought everything. Hey, Mr. McDuck, can I have a feather? It's for Belle and, Be and the Beast. Ah, I heard we went through the realm door to see Belle and the his head highness. Those two are certainly being missed around here, so you'll help? It's just one teensy feather. For them? And for you, friendly. Here's one on the house, Mr. McDuck. Oh my god, this is a surprise. I, I judged the book by its cover. I found a real beauty under the chair in my office. I mustn't have shed it when I was telling the accounts last night. Thank you so much. I'm surprised. Color me surprised. Surprised. Color me surprised. All right, let's take the, where is it? Oh, there we are. Oh, it looks good. Oh, that's so cute. So she can write her own book. So bring back the book kit to Beast so he can give it to Belle. Aw, this is so sweet. Hello, anyone here? Okay, so we gotta go back to the top and we gotta go into their realm. I like their realm. Wish I could live there all the time. Hello there, Beast. Here you go, the book kit. Oh, yeah, all the fingers. <laughs> I'm sure Belle will like this friend. Thank you, but I've been thinking. Gift isn't an apology. During a disagreement, I yelled and broke. Th How could you ever give her such a monster? You're not a monster. Did you ever consider that having all these big feelings, sadness, care, and even guilt is really compassion? No. Well, it is, and Belle sees that in you. I'm sure of it. Let's get you cleaned up for an apo your apology. It will help. Where's your grooming stuff? I, I don't know. I haven't cared about that in so long. Don't worry. I'll look around and find the grooming stuff items in no time. Uh, you need to find princely shampoo, princely cologne, and a brush. Well, first, first of all, here's a, here's the cologne, which I can't get to, but I know the shampoo's over here. I saw it before. Uh, oh, okay. So one's here. Brush. And we need the cologne. <laughs> I love that we're getting him ready for a date with Belle. It's so silly. Here we go. Oh, that princely shampoo. Oh, cologne is cute. Love the rose on it. All right. Right, time to get you all nice and clean. Here you go. One polish, a perfume prince coming right up. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to change into his suit or something. You look great, beast. How do you feel? Better. But what if he says the wrong thing to her? Then all of this is for nothing. You won't because you're going to rehearse your apology. How? Like this. I'll be Belle and you be you. I'm upset with you. I, uh, I didn't mean to upset you, but you still did and- Well, you upset me first. Deep breath. Try not to get defensive, okay? You're right. Can we start again? Okay, it's me, Belle. What did you want to talk about? Belle, I was very angry when I saw you staring at the painting, but I shouldn't have frightened you or lost my temper. I'm sorry. I'm proud of you. Thank you for your help. I'm ready. Let's go find Belle. <laughs> He's got little paws. He's running with his little paws. It's so funny. It's funny to me. He's a furry. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. It's so dumb. <laughs> and so romantic. How can something be so stupid and so romantic at the same time? It's just not making sense to me. Oh, and a story ages all this time. Bill, I'm sorry for losing my temper. I should have asked why you were there so you could talk about it. Thank you for saying that. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just trying to understand more about oh you can you can ask me anything but first this is for you for your writings a journal <gasps> It's wonderful. Thank you. I'll use it to write about all of our adventures. In fact, do you think I might be time to have our own next adventure? I, I would like. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. Friendly, the beast has gave me the nicest apology in the wonderful journal for writing. You've done so much for us already. But I have one more favor to ask you. Anything, name it. You've mentioned that you might visit a village. It sounds like a marvelous adventure the beast and I would be a cafe other. Would there be a place for us to stay while they're there? Of course, I'll make sure of that. It'll just take me a little time. Thank you. Please come back soon. I can't wait to visit such a fascinating place. All right. What the hell? Talk to Belle. But, oh, okay. Place the Beast Castle in Dream Life Valley. It would be funny if you put place the, dream, uh, the Beast Castle and you just enter into this house. That'd be kind of cool. Not gonna lie. 
I don't know where to put this house because I would have, I, I believe. Yeah, I would have put this in the um, in with the all the nice things, <laughs> like or, or, or what what do I call it? Uh, what is it called? The shopping strip. I would have put it in with the shopping strip had I had known I was gonna have such a nice place. I feel like I have to move everything over just to put that house there now. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, but I'll definitely try. So like, what I mean is, um, with this strip up here, this should go here. Is that possible? Like, it might be. It won't fit there, will it? No, it won't fit here. Damn. It definitely will fit, fit here, though. I could put it right here. Okay, we're gonna make the extra effort to put it somewhere. It just means I'm gonna have to redecorate that section, which, nah, it's fine, fine. No, I'd rather have a building there. That does mean, however, we're gonna have to get rid of anything that's, uh, like, a, a, a dropped item in that corner. So this corner right here. Anything that can be picked up needs to be picked up. That can go. That's gonna go. That's gotta go. Uh, is there anything else? Technically a flower, I imagine. Okay, let's uh, let's check. Place the house. All right. Hope that's hope that's gonna look okay. I mean, we can technically move it back and for and, and front and stuff if we need to, but let's see what it looks like first. Here we go. Look at the castle. Wow, it's beautiful. Welcome, Belle. Hi, Belle. How you doing, girl? Oh. Hi, Belle. And welcome, Beast. And are we gonna welcome the Beast as well? Uh oh. Well, Berlin's Library is a wonderful food to share with us. Our friends and adventures. I'm so glad our memories are coming back, Belle. Uh, so glad your memories are coming back, Belle. Friendly, will you still take uh, this note to Beast? He stayed behind because he's unsure about the village. It's to reassure him that we can join here without any problems. Okay, I'll take it to him and then we'll be done. Honestly, like, this is this is great. I can add the house in and by next time, we'll probably have new characters to collect because I'm hoping I can figure out a way to get Eric. I will look into that before the next episode, but honestly... This has been great. And I got a new beautiful castle for the beast, Beauty and the Beast. Here you go, beast. No reason to be all grumpy. A note from Belle. So she's very happy the valley. She wants me to join. Don't doubt yourself now. Belle really wants to explore with you. And you'll be right there too? Of course, whenever you need me. All right, show me I'm ready. <laughs> there we go. Now the beast is coming. Ah, Yay! It's the beast! Before Beauty, there was the beast. There we go. Now we talk to him and it's finished. Ah, we got Beauty the Beast now. I am going to have to move uh, the castle up here, aren't I? I haven't actually had a look at what how far back it's gone, but yeah, I'm going to have to move that forward. It doesn't look right. It looks weird. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe I can make a little, little path along here or something, like the rocks going up to there. I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of editing around here. At least the back's fine. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Put like a tree somewhere next to it. <sighs> Either way, guys, that was fun. Well, 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 we have come to the end. We have come to the end of the episode. I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighbor new community. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And thank you for coming here in my in this beautiful journey with all my Disney friends. All of them. Sorry, I'm trying to sound like a narrator. Does it work? Does it work? Hopefully. Anyway, guys, goodbye. Salam. Farewell. Ciao.